If you want to email your document off to somebody, there are three ways that I want to show you. One way is to go ahead and select it, open up your email program, copy the text and paste it into an email. I mean, that could be a while. So the other two ways may be a little bit more practical. You can either do it by text only or as an attachment. If you want to send your email off as text only, let me show you. You want to come up here and customize the quick access toolbar so we can bring up the command send to mail recipient. Let's go ahead and right click anywhere on the quick access toolbar, go down to customize it change it from popular commands to all commands, and then scroll down to the S's, and there it is, send to mail recipient, double click on it, so I can add it over here to the rest of my commands on the quick access toolbar, click okie dokie, and there we go, come up here, click on it, who is it going to? I'm going to send it to myself, type in essential oils at dreamforce.us, but because it's already popping up down below, if I just hit the tab key, automatically fills it in, then the subject. The subject by default will be the title of your document, email documents, or you can go ahead and delete it and type in something else, say it's a poem, and then the introduction, something about the poem. It's my... Now what's interesting is that when somebody receives that, you'll have the body of the text down below, but just above it, there'll be a line, and then above that, it'll have the introduction. Let me show you. So we've got the uh, body of the text down below, the document, the introduction, the subject, and who I'm sending it to. Go ahead and click Send a Copy, and then go ahead and click on the Start button and open up Outlook 2010. I assume that you have Outlook 2010. If you don't, then ignore this part of the training video. And if you do, you can get more out of this by watching my Outlook 2010 training videos. Now notice that in my Outbox, when I click on it, the email's sitting there until I send it off. And I can do that by coming up here on the Quick Access Toolbar in the Outlook program and click on Send and Receive, and it sends it off. And then if there's anything out there, it'll receive it. And it just came back into me, back in the inbox. So when I go to the inbox, it receives what I just sent out back to myself. You can see over here the preview window, or you can double-click to open up the email. And there we go. It's from me, to me, the subject's the poem. And then the uh, introduction, I typed in my fancy poem. And then there's the horizontal line that separates that, the introduction, to the rest of the uh, body of the text down below. Let's go ahead and close out of that and go back to my document here. And then if I want to go ahead and send this off as an attachment, not as text within the email, or the body of the message, then just come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Save and Send, and Send Using Email is already selected by default. Just come over here and click on Send as Attachment, and then type in who it's to, and then it's to me, Essential Oils at Dreamforce.us, hit the Tab key, and you can see it's an attachment, the little word icon there, and then go ahead and click Send. Go back to my uh, email program, and when I click Send, it might have already just sent it off and may have not been sitting in the outbox. Let's come up here and click Send and Receive to see if it comes back to me. And there it is. Right there. Double click to open it up. And that's all there is. You don't have the body of the text down below. So as text only, you actually have it as an attachment. That way somebody can just go ahead and double click to open up the attachment. It gives you the option if you want to go ahead and edit it. But it might be unsafe. If you trust the person, click on Enable Editing. And then it'll open up the ribbon. You can you know make your edits to the document down below. Which brings up a good point. You may want to send it as an attachment if somebody needs to make some uh, changes to it, uh, any comments, and have the editing features available that you would have in Microsoft Word that you wouldn't have in just an email text here. Let me go ahead and open this back up and double click on the first email. See, when I open it up, I don't get the chance to edit it. It's just a message here. Unless, of course, I come over here on the Message tab to uh, move, click on the Actions, and go down to Edit the Message. Then it opens up some tabs here but you don't get the full uh, power behind Microsoft Word, just part of the uh, features that are available that you have on some of the tabs here, like the Insert tab, the Message tab. In any case, you can watch my Outlook 2010 training videos for more information on that. Let's close out, close out, and back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.